Hi guys, and today I'm going to show you how to create, recreate this makeup look. So to start, all you need to do is um, take off glasses if you have them. Uh, just take off any makeup you do. If you want, you can do some primer, but that might ruin the look. And so you need to take like your biggish foundation brush. I like this; it's nice. Fluffy, you know, look, it comes up, gives out little plumes of fluff. And yeah, just take a brush that kind of looks like this, if you know what I mean. And we're actually going to use only, only use, going to use powder foundation because I only have powder foundation. So you need to use it in a circular motion, so like that. If you can see, can you see, like that. It's like twisting the brush into it. So you twist the brush into your foundation. So it kind of has a little on there, and you just want to mush it like that, not like, because then that kind of ruin the, ruins the look. And I know it, you probably won't be able to see any change because it's virtually my skin colour, but yeah, whatever. It's pretty nice actually, it's a very nice feeling. Okay. <coughs> okay, and then you need to do highlighter. So you kind of take like a small brush. It kind of has like the bristles going to like um in, in like a curved way. And if you've got like two of a different size, use like the smaller one. So like your third, your fourth biggest brush in a way, if you have the unicorn brushes that I do. <laughs> and so you just need to smush into your highlighter, kind of like this. So hold it really close and just move it in, back and forth. And then just apply it right under the eye, so like, not there, not there, but right here. And if it hurts then, just blink, blink, blink. Don't worry, you'll be okay, you won't, your eyes won't die from makeup. You also to put some here. If you felt think that's weird, then you could just um, do it on your nose instead here, or you could do both sides if you have like OCD. I don't know if OCD makes you do that with makeup. Okay, and then you need to blush. So you need to get a fan brush and just dip it into some blush, and it has to be like a pink blush, obviously. So there you have it. Most of you would probably blush. Um, finger it out, uh, like tap it out like that. But no, you don't do, do that. You just literally um, put that on like that, and it pretty much creates a pinkish glow. I don't think this lighting can see that either. <laughs> but at least my face isn't like dark like that. Why did I close it? Okay, more brush. Do, do, do. And just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So don't go like in a circle way. Don't go dotting it. Just move it like that. Because then it lends in like to the whole cheeks and not has more consistency than the others. If you kind of know what I mean, ish, <laughs> ish. <laughs> okay, then take an eyebrow pencil. It can be any kind of eyebrow pencil, and mine is blunt, which actually kind of makes more effect. So you need to fold it in literally, like do that, and it kind of hurts, but whatever. Kind, I don't know why, but sometimes uh, in this particular thing that hurts you uh, actually feels good 
that makes any sense, which it doesn't. And so yeah. There and there. And your eyebrows are a little bit darker, but not all the way. Okay. Now we're gonna do lips. Uh, so you need to have like a mini lip brush, not like one of those lip glosses. And uh, you need to have like it needs to be lip gloss, not lipstick, because I don't have lipstick. I don't. I only have lip gloss because somehow I gave those to my sister, and then she said she didn't want them anymore. Whatever. Anyway, so you need to stick it in. Just rub it against the edges of it, just catching it. So like like up and down up and down and then just yeah and if you're wondering what colour you should use basically the colour of lip gloss that's nearest to your skin colour um and you just give them a mush to make sure the consistency is good and I'm pretty sure that most of you will have um, ready or pinkish or nude lips, but most people will have pink. I'm not being racist or sexist or whateverist when I say that, but I'm just kind of thinking that most people do have that kind of colour of lips. Okay, so then take a eyeshadow thing here. Um, don't worry. Mines are broken for a reason because I deliberately broke them. Okay, and then get a lovely blue colour, and it has to be a very specific blue for this to actually work. Okay, so it has to be like um, this lovely aqua blue colour. You know, that colour of swimming pools that always appears in the adverts, but when you go there, it's never that colour. So, probably about that colour. You know, that lovely colour, that lovely colour. So just move it along right there. Oh my god, it's tickling my eye. It's tickling my eye, I think. And you have perfectly blue, perfectly blue eye. And when you're doing it, you do, do that bit face down, rub against it, like... <laughs> So like that was, uh, that finger was uh, that bit, and this was the eyeshadow palette here. It'd be like, like that, okay? You might want to do it a bit of a tilt. Okay, do a second layer to make the colour more vibrant. And yeah, then you can probably just blend it in. Uh, with your fingers, just to find out any harsh edges. And there you go, that's pretty much the look. What are we doing like? Um, can you do that guys? <laughs> so yeah, thanks so much for over 100 subscribers. I can't believe YouTube actually emailed me about that. I thought they only emailed me about like a thousand subs, um, 100k and a million, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, I want to find out which one of you guys has like the biggest channel out of all of you who subscribed. So like, comment down below how many subscribers you have on your channels. Because I think the most uh, one of them's got is um, like 800 and like uh, once this 
channel commented on my post and they had like 5,000 but I don't really know if they had um, like subscribed to me or not and so yeah and if you're wondering like uh, where the really bright blue colour is gone it's basically pro probably because I blended it in so if you want um, like uh, more more of a blue colour just don't blend it in or add more layers oh shush violet sorry this was my toy from thingy comment down below if you ever had a violet toy or what toy was your favourite when you were five and um, yeah so that's pretty much it and yeah Bye guys!